the verge of a clean sweep, a 3 nothing start to this year's NBA Finals. We'll see if they can pull it off. Chris Weber is joining us at the broadcast table alongside Greg Anthony and David Aldridge on the sideline. This is Kevin Harlan. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Levine at the two with Porter at the three. Davis is out there with Markinen. And it's B in at the one. And for Portland, pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCullough. Thomas is out there with Beasel. And it's Nurkic in at the five, roaming the paint. Outside, Porter. This is it to B. That shot, no good. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. Outside, Thomas. Pass to Beasley. Good, and the assist goes to Thomas. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. He had very little resistance. He had to bring much faster help than that. Bean passes to Bean. Six on the shot clock. On the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the trip. Snatched away. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Fires the three, drains it from beyond the arc. B's got six points. Capable of doing many things well. Levine has a good sense of when his guys are over. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin, I caught up with the Blazers head coach. We talked about the uphill battle his team is facing right now. He said, I'm trying to use the historical perspective of our situation in a different light. We could get down on ourselves, but I told my guys that we have a chance to make history. If we can come back in these finals. Well, that is a way to spin it, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Lillard outside. They need this. Markinen pulls it in. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Pulls up on the way. They get it back. And Davis gets it to go. Just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways. And that's one of them right there, crashing the offensive glass, getting that second chance bucket. So timeout called here, the first for Portland. Yeah, things are going their way to just try to talk this one over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. Lillard attacking. Portland again missing. Chicago's gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Bean passes to Bean. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. assist. And that's 10 points for Bean. And they are starting to pull away here as the shots continue to fall. And now it's looking like it's going to be their night. I mean, the lead keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Bulls have gone 5 of 7 today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Davis with the bucket. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Colin passes to Nurkic. He dishes it to Lillard. Offline with his three. Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have, but his shot selection's been a little bit... Kept alive. Here's Markinen. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they shot the basketball. Pass to Nurkic. quarter of action just under three and a half minutes played kicks it to Lillard again the miss by Lillard it's been a really tough quarter for him I mean he cannot get his shots to drop Beasley with the steal Lillard outside takes the three again the miss by the Trailblazers Here's B, and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Yeah, we've got to be careful. It's still early. They've expended a lot of energy, but they've also built a nice cushion here. Thomas finds McCollum. 
There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. So they look like they just wanted more right now. you got to love the hustle. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Kicks it out to Lillard. Good on the triple. Lillard's got his second bucket of the night. Outside shot of Lillard is pure. I mean, he always seems to have the look that's going in. B tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Trailblazers trail by 11. Lillard outside. And there's the pass to Nurkic. Shot clock at six. And it's out of bounds. The Trailblazers able to retain possession here. Portland with the ball. Clock at four. Here's Rose. Portland not good that time either. And so is Chicago. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Great team play, so key to winning. Damian Lillard broke down. Be a star in your role. You know, I think it's one thing to say, let's be. Knowing your role and playing it so well is so crucial. Yeah, when everybody buys in and plays for one another, that's when teams play their best ball. And we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. And a comfortable margin for the Bulls here, guys. You got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. No question. It's been stifling thus far. Preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. Courtesy of Gatorick as the second quarter gets going. On the court right now for the Trailblazers. They've got Collins. Also Whiteside out there. Derrick Rose is out there with Thomas. And it's Simons in at the point. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. Hey, Kevin. B in that last game against the Trailblazers really lit up the floor. He finished with 20 points. And along with what he did on offense, he had a big defensive night as well. Another fantastic showing in what has been a great stretch of basketball for him. Kevin, we'll see if you can keep it going tonight. Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll, we'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. No, I think he will because he takes being a leader seriously, and it, and it shows in how he approaches things at both ends of the floor. Simons surveying the D. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Outside Thomas. There's the triple. Trailblazers keeping alive. Chicago leading by 15. Has to be. Trying to get open as Carter. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove insurmountable. Now a timeout called by Portland. You have to like what we're seeing from B. They got to start guarding him out to about 28 feet because he's killing from long range. Chandler he's checked in for Chicago. These players can flat out shoot the rock. The 2K leaderboard shows us the top three-point shooters in the playoffs. Well, you look at B, second in the league, extremely accurate from beyond the arc. And, of course, Zach Levine, he's in that same group. And the bright lights of these playoffs have done wonders for each of their three-point shooting. That's what they were both hoping for. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. Trailing by 17. Rose gets the bucket. And as long as he retains that great explosion in his legs, Derrick Rose will be a factor around the round. Out to White. Here's B. 
And a miss there on the triple. And Whiteside's got the ball here for the Trailblazers. To the right side. Thomas, it's a wide open look. Gets the three pointer to fall. Thomas got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. B, the pass to White. Here's B. It's hauled in by Thomas. Trailblazers trail by 12. Right wing. Outside Collins. And another three for Portland. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. It was a big win for them coming off Tuesday's match. You know, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy to, <laughs> to what they do best. Three, Levine, and that one is off. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And thanks to their outstanding defense, the impact Damian Lillard has had on this game has been minimal. with you as these two teams do back in their quest for an NBA championship. You know, B has been exceptional here, guys. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Yeah, he's busting his tail, making his presence known. A great job defensively so far. And tipping off the second half, here's Jim Boylan's five. Porter and Markinen, the duo at forward. Oh, look at him! The play! He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Maybe it is showtime. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus-10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. It's good. Davis has got 12 points in the game. They are just killing them on the interior. Cullen passes to Nurkic. McCollum against Levine. Here's Lillard. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Oh, you got to admire how aggressive Lillard is. Terrific effect. <laughs> the Trailblazers shooting their first free throws of the evening. Whiteside's checked in for the Trailblazers. Oh, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through the post. No good from B. Trailblazers trail by 11. Damian Lillard with the bucket on the assist by McCollum. 11 points for Damian Lillard. B for by Lillard. No good from B. They say there are no easy finishes in the NBA. That should be easy. Lillard with it. Now guarded by B. From 11 feet away. And the shot is long. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Kick out to Levine. No good on the triple. Trailblazers have gone one of three since starting the second half. Thomas, and it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. He's got five. He creates so much offense. I mean, Lillard puts intense pressure on the defensive uh, to react. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. A different look now for Portland. Zach Collins comes in for Yusuf Nurkic. And it's Simons in for Damian Lillard. The Bulls also changing it up. Young's checked in for Markinen. Osman comes in for Porter. And it's wide in for Levine. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. And that 
again, no good by Chicago. Trailblazers trail by nine. Three-pointer. And it's Simons missing. Chicago has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Davis. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Davis has got 14 points for the game. If there's a list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, you might as well just count it. It's McCollum on the wing. Right covering. Basket good. Collins has got his second bucket tonight. Remarkable concentration. It's hard trying to knock Collins off his game when he's looking to score. One forty-six left in the third quarter of the game. B. And he uses the glass on the layup. B's got six here in this quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no life at the end of the time. Not that one. The Bulls lead has been cut down now to just nine. And the bucket from Hassan wakes up. Let's go. And the Bulls tack on two more. They couldn't have asked for much more from him today. He's been a key force in their offense. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on B. And that'll be his third foul so far. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Rose is checked in. Carter, he's checked in for the Bulls. 104 left in the third quarter. Rose scanning the floor. Six to shoot. Pass to McCollum. This one for three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. 17 points was their biggest margin. And that one's good. Osman. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want. The other, not so much. Yeah, you can clearly see which offense is better right now. We'll see if that continues the rest of the way. Rose kicks to Whiteside. And it's Osman with the rebound. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Come on, you can't be selfish. You got to be willing to make the next pass. Otherwise, you're just predictable. The Bulls have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. <laughs> Beasley's checked in for Whiteside. The Bulls also changing it up. Chandler Hutchison, he's checked in for Young. And it's Otto Porter Jr. in for Jenny Osman. McCollum against Porter. 11 seconds left to play in the third. McCollum outside. And just miss after miss right now. And so it's Chicago in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. Their transition game has been in full effect. Back to the action after this word. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Damian Lillard out there with Derrick Rose. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic. Then there's Beasley. And it's McCollum in at the three slot. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Pass to B. From past the arc. And he's good on the three ball. B's got 13 points in the second half. His three-point game has been incredible tonight. If he comes even close to repeating his first-half performance, it's going to be a crazy game for him. The shot by Lillard, wide open. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Wow, his first triple of the second half gives him two on the night. He's not making much of an impact from deep. Here's B. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free-throw line. That's what they want to see from the attacking and whistles and maybe causing some foul trouble. We're 
still waiting for that first miss from the line to this half. Chicago making a switch here. Markkanen's checked in. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Man, when you're playing from behind, that's the last thing you want to do. Make matters worse. Drills the three-pointer. He's got 38 points. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Levine against Rose. Lillard outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Hard. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. This is Carter's mode. He knows he's out there to be assertive and a factor on the glass. Thomas checked in for Portland. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Lillard scanning the floor. And he nails the jumper. Lillard's got five points now this quarter. Once Lillard gets going, it's fun to watch. I mean, he attacks with such ferocity. No good from B. And, and all the skill used on that crossover. He might want to save a little bit for the finish. Unable to convert there. Chicago leading by 20. We have the step back. Jump shot is good. He's got 40 points. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Oh, yeah, that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. There's the steal. And Carter now, top of the key. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Oh, he simply overpowers defenders when met with contact. I mean, Carter Jr.'s tough as nails. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Lillard, right side. Can't connect from 14 feet out. And the Bulls with possession. They're on a 16-7 run. B, covered by Lillard. Here's B, and the Bulls, another three. In perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. But, but it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. And that one is good by Beasley. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene. B, covered by Lillard. Here's B. Portland grabs the miss. Norkic has got his sixth rebound on the night. Thomas against Levine. Portland moving the ball around. Porter with a block. Lockdown defense from Porter. He extends out beautifully to come up with these type of projections. And wow, that's the end of an epic journey taken by both these teams in unbelievable fashion. Get the NBA title rings ready, folks, for the Bulls. At every opportunity, they managed to push the ball and keep the up-tempo game going. Yeah, I think it paid off, that's for sure. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one is a dazzling game for B. Chicago Bulls are the new NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes from winning it all. You have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer.